Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to do a dip today, try something a little bit different. So I've got wax paper down on my table and I'm gonna just put paint in. So I've kind of got a square mapped out. So I want to make sure it's at least the size of my canvas. This is white paint with Floetrol. And then my colors that I have that I'm going to use are paint one part and two parts Floetrol. And no silicone. I don't really want cells if I can help it. So like I said, this is wax paper, so it may, hopefully it'll spread out pretty evenly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my canvas into this, but I'm, I want to put my pattern down on the wax paper. I think today I'm going to use blues and some brass metallic color. So I'm just pouring This is like a really deep blue, and that's a really bright blue, and then this is more of a turquoise. And then I have a brassy gold, which I'm just kind of streaking through. So I, want, I don't want the colors here, so I'm going to keep adding just a little bit where the, the white's thinned out. Basically, I'm going to take my canvas, which has push pins, so I can hold it well, and it can sit on the table once I'm done with it. So I'm just going to lay my canvas in. That's pretty cool. So I need to add white. To the areas that are still dry. So I'm going to put the white up to the edge of my paint to make sure that it's not up against a dry canvas. That's kind of cool. It kind of looks almost like a feather. And cells popped up like crazy even though there is no silicone. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to lay it down. And I'm going to take my straw and just blow the edges out. I'm going to leave this side the way it is, I think. So pretty interesting. I think I'm going to blow this area just a bit. Sometimes you have shapes that you don't care for. And just making sure that my white is totally white. I've got a little, a little bit of some color or something there. I 
All right. Well, I had some blue on my finger, so dabbing it in there. Let me get my white bottle. And just cover that. Make sure I have plenty of white. Just let that settle in. So here it is. This is 11 by 14. And this is so beautiful that I'm going to re-dip into it again. Put push your pins in first. With push pins, if you can't get your push pin in very far, you don't have to get them all in, all the way in, as long as you get them in somewhat and they're pretty level. That's the main thing that you have to worry about is that your canvas does not rock and that it's level. Sometimes that wood is super hard and there's almost no way to get the wood in without using a hammer. So if you find that to be the situation, just go in a little bit to where it that it'll hold the pin, but don't go in all the way with all your push pins and then just make sure it's level on the table. And if it's level, that's the main thing that counts. So I'm going to add some more white to my cup. I'm going to put some back down here just on the white area. This is so beautiful. Too bad it's on wax paper. So I think I'm going to dip one here. Pretty. So I'm going to squeeze my white paint right up to that edge. Some blue there. I'll try to scoot it over here. Take this one, Ooh. spilling white paint. fingers are slippery. So I'm going to let this white slide over a bit. So let's see if I can blow. Take this spreader here if I can get it to just come out a little bit. And then stick some white here. And then this one. going to
So I'm wondering if I can scoop this up and use it somehow on these canvases. So I've got to think about this. I've got some it's kind of like cardstock, but not quite. So I'm going to take this. And just let it be. Got a mess here, so I gotta gotta wipe off my straw. I don't want to put my mouth on the paint because it tastes very bad. So I'm gonna try this again. A drip there. I guess I will try to pop a few bubbles before I move them away or show them to you up close. So it brings up cells even though there's no silicone or OGX in this paint. Got a little something on top of the white there and a little dryish spot. But overall, I like these a lot. So I will try to bring them up to you. So this is a piece of um, almost like poster board that has a slick surface. So I'm just going to move this around. A bit. That will make some cool skins. Really beautiful. That was fun. It was a mess, but it was fun. And now I've got to figure out a way to get my clean white off the table. And hopefully some of it back into my cup. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Check out all the links below the video. PayPal, Patreon, my Facebook group, my Amazon recommendations link that uses has all the products I use listed in it. And uh, if you want to become a member, you can also check uh, the join button down beside the membership. And it's $4.99 a month, and I do a more personal live stream with members just once a month. So it doesn't take away from any of the free videos that I offer you on a regular basis. 
it just gives people a chance to get with me one-on-one, -on -one, ask more questions, maybe make requests, and just get to know me better. So I hope you'll join me sometime. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.